Hello guys, so I sprayed my maize farm, my four acre maize farm with Gramazone and this is why. Okay, so um, it so happens that I wasn't around and because of that I wasn't able to you know, monitor my farm in terms of the weed control. Okay, so because of this the weed actually grew so much so that if you should use the selective we decide it will not do anything to it actually it won't have any much effect on it and the weed will continue to grow in the farm and for that matter it will the weed will fight with the plant itself in terms of you know minerals you know from the soil okay so it's it 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 so happens that we are supposed to do it vigorously okay with gramazone okay we all know that gramazone is actually um a weed decide that that actually kills every weed it is a non-selective weed decide okay but we have to use it this time as a selective weed decide and the, the the process is very amazing this is what this video is about to show you and within the video i'll let you know why you can use this you can do, why you can do this and how you can best do this all right so without wasting much time let's get into the video proper thank you all right so right now this is me you know with my grammar zone super okay this is um you know let's say a brand of the the Gra grammar zone um we decide um, you can get any gramazon that you want okay this is super gramazon super but you know any gramazon any we decide that has that 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 effect you can use it also now and this is me pouring two of the cups okay this is the measurement you're supposed to do to use two of the of the cups into the um the the knapsack spray and you know add your water okay you make sure that you, you you pour enough water to the the required quantity actually this is a 15 liter um knapsack sprayer okay so you make sure that you you know pour in that same quantity of water 15 liters okay after that what you do is that you do what you stir it you shake it vigorously to make sure that the, the chemical is mixed let me remind let, let me remind you that there are a lot of things i did not consider in this you know for for various reasons including protect wearing protective you know uniform and protective gloves protective you know i i i you know covers and stuff okay so if you're watching this video you you want to use chemicals um in your farms make sure you do what you wear protective uniform protective you know um clothes and and that okay all right so that's a disclaimer though right so uh what you can see is me doing the spraying myself me doing my the spraying myself now this is what i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you two or three things concerning today's activity okay so the first one will be that okay normally i get people to do this kind of work for me okay i get people to do this spraying weed control um made, made a lot of the farming activities i get people to do them for me okay now you might ask that why am i doing this myself okay and the, and that is the number one reason the number one thing i want to talk to you in this video i'm doing this myself because i have been you know quote and unquote showed pepper you know by people that you know over the times do this kind of work for me so what happens is that these people sometimes if you're not there you give them the chemicals you give them the things the, the, the you know the, the chemicals and the stuff even fertilizers for them to apply for you now they won't apply the way you are supposed to apply them if you are not there and most of the time because i have a lot of busy schedules i'm not there so they do it the way they want and secondly the thing the reason i'm doing it myself is that because this is a special chemical this is this is a non-selective chemical it requires a specific wave you know of application now 
if you take the selective we decide if we take the selective we decide which we normally call in in a local dialect as by day that that selective we decide you can just spray it anyhow you want you can just throw your hand anyhow you want and what is going to happen is that the maze is not going to be affected only the unwanted weeds are going to be what affected okay so because it is selective in nature and in principle and in composition it is not going to affect the maze all right but in this case because of the height of the weed which the selective we decide wouldn't be able to you know work on i had to use this non-selective and because it is non-selective i have to be careful all right so if you can see i have pointed the tip of you know the napstack sprayer onto the ground i am being careful not not to touch the maze itself the maze plants so i'm walking through and i came here with my brother who, who in this case is the one video we mean but just after this this video he also helped in doing this work now fast forward you are doing this you are putting you are making sure that it does not affect the maze okay so you are being careful and doing what pointing the you know the spray the spray uh, the, the knapsack sprayer the outlet you're pointing it toward the weeds alone you're pointing it to the weeds alone now some people somebody will just do what will argue that okay this doesn't matter as soon as you're you are passing through the maze as far as you're passing through the maze there is a possibility that it will do what it will touch the maze and kill it okay now this has been done a lot of times and this is actually a hack okay most of the times a lot of people do, don't know it but when the maze is at this stage you know it is resistance to it is resistant to a lot of you know weed control chemicals okay such that if you care if you do it and you do it very carefully it will not it will not affect the maze and you get the, the required results okay so this is why if you look at this kind of weed that you're seeing this kind of weed is so grown because i wasn't around to do it at the right time it is so grown and if you should use the selective weed side it wouldn't do anything to it okay so this one will actually burn it i know there are a lot of people who doesn't you know go with this kind of farming the application of uh we decide but you know we do it the way we do it for the re, for 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 a specific specific kind of results making sure that you know it is not going to affect the maze so so much it's not going to affect the maze at all all right so this requires a specific kind of skill all right so this is me you know trying to do what do it by myself making sure that i do it and do it the way it is supposed to be done now the next thing that i want to talk about is that when it comes to the selective weed side you know you are supposed to do it two weeks after planting latest three weeks you should have done what you should have started you know applying the selective weed side okay this is because what the selective weed side actually does is that it 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 hinders the growth of weed it doesn't necessarily kill the weed but it hinders the growth of it what it happens what what does mean is that it doesn't allow the weed to grow further so by two weeks it is expected that the weed are not too grown okay so because of that when you apply the selective weed side it is able to do what to hinder the growth of the weed and you know allow the maize alone to grow up you know uh to enjoy the the nutrients in the soil and the last thing i want to talk about is that guys as for the rains there it will come on but when will it come because even in the in early may or late april we were having challenges in some part of ghana that we were not getting the rains you know for our farms okay so as for the rains it will come but when will it come because i'm saying it will come because year after year the complaints has always been that the rain didn't come early 
the rains came too early and that but we never say or we hardly say the rains never came okay so these are the dynamics you want to you know look at if you want to go into what means farming you want to make sure that the rains are coming at the time that you expect them or you are able to monitor the the rains and plant the right time so you don't do what you don't run at a loss or you don't you don't plant and see no germination okay so thank you very much my name is yawa simply Sechura, and this is ashko tv the official youtube channel for aceda house commodities i tell you guys what this season is promised to be a very busy season this season may's trading season is going to be a very busy season so if you're a maize production if, if if you're a poultry farmer you're a poultry feed producer a lot has been calling me i know guys we've been speaking and i'm telling you that just hold on this time we are doing a lot of work to be able to serve you better in the upcoming seasons so this season like i say is going to be a very busy season watch out for aceda house commodities and watch out for we as well as our partners to be do to be able to you know serve you really really well thank you very much make sure you subscribe to this channel make sure you put us on post notification and make sure you stick to the passion of agribusiness as a business thank you very much until we meet